This is how this is how Jewish I am. My mom was a stand-up comedian uh, for many years. They they used to call her the queen of one-liners, because all it took was one line of coke and she was blowing everybody <laughs> away with her jokes. It's weird for my mom to see me doing comedy because no one wants to see one of their mistakes making one of their mistakes. <laughs> so I am, I am a nerd, clearly. And uh, I, I have a confession to make as a nerd. I am not a fan of the Star Wars movies. I said it, not a fan. I know I belong on the island of misfit stereotypes along with the gay guy who's not into anal and the handsome Jew. Uh, <laughs> But here's why I don't like the Star Wars movies, because I saw Spaceballs first. <laughs> and that'll blow your mind. By the time I saw Star Wars, it was just unfunny Spaceballs to me. I was like, where are all the classic characters like Yogurt and Pizza the Hut? This is not my childhood. <laughs> nerds, nerds are fickle, Ner nerds are really mean. I was, I was reading this review of, of the video game Skyrim on, on Amazon. I, have you guys heard? I feel like Jay Leno's saying that sentence. Have you guys heard of this? There's a video game called Skyrim, and there was a review of it on Amazon. I am a terrible person who fills my emotional void with cars. <laughs> I think Leno's best when he's self aware. Just, I've been doing the same shit for 20 years. <laughs> Just Leno looking into a mirror every day. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel. <laughs> Right, Kevin? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I read this review of, of the video game Skyrim on Amazon. This woman wrote a review and she was like, I bought the game for my husband and he loved it so much that he no longer talks to me and now we're filing for divorce. <laughs> and this guy wrote back, he's like, that's a terrible review. It says nothing about controls <laughs> or gameplay design. I get that you're alone, but is there a multiplayer feature? <laughs> but the meanest that, that, that people get, the worst of, of nerds is on message boards. Oh my God, I was reading this article about Adele's pregnancy on, on a message board when that was the thing. And, and one guy was like, oh, I hope she has a, a boy. And another guy was like, oh, I hope she has a girl. And one asshole fan wrote, well, I hope she has a miscarriage because that will give us the greatest album of all time. <laughs> my, my favorite British celebrity ever is, is Susan Boyle. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, Susan Boyle was this woman, parentheses, question mark. <laughs> and I won't say she's unattractive. I'll just say she looks like Robin Williams trying to get his kids back again. Which I can say because I look like Robin Williams telling Matt Damon to believe in himself. <laughs> I went to England recently and I got in a big uh, cultural fight with this guy. We were watching fireworks and he was like, do they have fireworks in America? And I was like, yes they do, you Charles Dickens novel. Uh, we have them during Independence Day. And he was like, what? Independence Day. And I didn't want to get all Toby Keith on him and be like, the day we kicked your asses. <laughs> so I just started to describe to him the plot of the movie Independence Day. <laughs> it's when we get together as a culture and celebrate Jeff Goldblum <laughs> defeating the aliens with Windows 95. <laughs> I had a stepdad growing up. Any, any stepdads in the audience tonight? Nope, must be a Little League game going on. Uh, <laughs> I feel bad for stepdads because there's, there's no day to honor them. We have Father's Day and we should have Stepfather's Day and we could have fun Stepfather's Day games like pin the blame on yourself. <laughs> and, and we could have Stepfather's Day greeting cards like now that the dad I love is gone. <laughs> Thanks for being there to my mom. But you put it in Comic Sans, it's adorable. You gotta soften the blow.